फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लास रूम इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ क्वान्टिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड वी विल सी द टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स एंड शॉर्टकट्स टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑन प्रॉफिट लॉस एंड डिस्काउंट वेलकम टू एक्सेल इन पी ओ एग्जाम हेयर इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट टू वॉचेस आर सोल्ड फॉर रुपीज एटीन हंड्रेड the first sold at 20% profit and the other at 20% loss what percent loss or gain in this transaction now there are the two watches and which are sold at the rate of 18% each it means the selling price of both watches is 3600 800 rupees first watch 8 1800 rupees first watch 1800 rupees another watch so total selling price will be 3600 rupees now the first one sold at 20% profit so the cost price of the first one will be equal to 1800 multiplied by 100 divided by 120 because 20% is a profit and therefore 100 plus 20 will be 120 friends you should know how to write this directly how you have got this if there is a selling price of 120 rupees then 100 rupees is the cost price then for 1800 it will be how much we cross multiply this two and multiply and divide by the first one and therefore we get 1800 into 100 divided by 120 avoiding this step you should be able to write this directly that selling price multiplied by 100 divided by if it is 20% uh, profit then divide by 120 if it is 15% profit then divide by 115 if it is 10% discount then divide by 100 minus 10 that is 90 now in the second case there is a 20% of loss so the cost price of the second one will be 1800 multiplied by 100 divided by since there is a loss of 20% it will be divided by 100 minus 20 that is 80 if you solve this first one you will get it as 1500 so the cost price of first watch is 1500 and if you solve this second one you will get it 2250 2250 so the total cost price of both the watches is what 3750 so the cost price is 3750 and the selling price is 3600 since selling price is less than the cost price there is a loss so in this transaction there is a loss and what loss will be there but uh, 3750 minus 3600 there will be a loss of rupees 150 so there is a loss of rupees 150 now we have been asked to find the percent loss so how you will find the percent loss for 3750 rupees for 3750 rupees there is a loss of 150 rupees then for 100 rupees it will be how much so we cross multiply this 2 and divide by the 
first term so it will be 150 multiplied by 100 divided by 3750 and it comes to 4 percent so friends there is a loss of 4 percent in this transaction now this is still a longer method as far as these types of sums are concerned you remember that whenever the selling price is same selling price is same of both the articles and there is a profit and the loss of the same percentage on both the transactions then there is always a loss remember this it is always there here in this case 1800 is a selling price so selling price is same 20 percent is profit 20 percent is loss if it is 10 percent profit 10 percent loss 5 percent profit 5 percent loss whatever it may be in such cases there will be always a loss now to find the loss percent the simple way is that just take the square of the percentage given here in this case there is 20 percent is given so take a square of 20 and divide it by 100 and you will get it 20 square that will be 400 divided by 100 that is zeros will get cancelled and you will get its 4 percent so friends in one step you get the answer remember the condition should be satisfied that selling price should be same and the percentage one profit percent and the loss percent should also be same then there will be always loss and that loss percent will be calculated as square of the percentage divided by 100 Now friends go for the second question. <coughs> Naresh purchased a TV set for Rs. 11,250. After getting a discount of 10% on a labelled price, he spent Rs. 150 on transport, 18,800 on installation. At what price should it be sold so that the profit earned would be 15% if no discount was offered? This question was asked in the United Bank of India PO exam which was conducted on 21st 6, 2009. Here Naresh purchased the TV for Rs. 11,250. This is a selling price for the seller. Since this is a selling price for the seller, selling price is equal to 11,250. Now he gives the 10% discount on it. So what will be the cost price for the seller? the cost price for the seller now i write it directly that selling price 11250 multiplied by 100 divided by 100 minus 10 that is 10 is a discount so 100 minus 10 that is 90 and if you solve this you get it 12500 So the cost price is Rs. 12,500. On this cost price, 12,500, he spent Rs. 100 on transport plus 800 on installation and this together comes to 13,450 so for the seller the actual cost price including these 
expenditure that is 13,450 is the actual cost price. Now on this he has to earn 15% of discount. So the 13,450 he has to earn 15% of profit. So how you will find 15 percent? 10 percent will be 1,345 decimal point after one digit and plus 5 percent. 5 percent means half of this and it comes to 672.50. So this together comes to for this together comes to 5 and 2 7 7 and 4 11 1 7 and 3 10 and this is 1 that is 2017 rupees 50 paise so it comes to 2017 rupees and 50 paise so if you add this you get 15,000 467.50 and therefore the seller will have to sell it for rupees 15,467 rupees 50 paise if he wishes to earn 15% of profit. Here is the another question on the screen that Manoj sold an article for rupees 15,000 had he offered a discount of 10% on the selling price he would have earned a profit of 8% what is the cost price this question was asked in the United Bank of India PO exam which was held on 21st 6 2009 Manoj sold an article for rupees 15,000 he had he offered a discount of 10 percent on a selling price he would have earned a profit of 8 percent now it's very simple that manoj sold it for rupees 15000 and on which he has given a discount of 10 percent So 10% of this will be definitely 1500. So minus 1500 and therefore it comes to 13500. So the selling price, actual selling price is 13500 rupees. Now he has to earn 8% of the profit means still he earns 8% of profit after giving the discount. So what should be the cost price? So here we know the selling price, here we know the profit percent and we have to find the cost price. So how do we find cost price directly? Cost price is equal to selling price that is 13,500 we multiply this by 100 divided by 8% profit it means 100 plus 8 and so it will be 108 and if you solve this you will get 12,500 rupees so it will be 12,500 rupees so the cost price is 12,500 rupees so that he earns a profit of 8%. Here is the another question. Rohan purchased a bike for Rs. 54,000. He sold it at a loss of 8%. With that money he again purchased another bike 
and sold it at a profit of 10% what will be his overall loss or profit this question was asked in the corporation bank po exam which was held on 16/1/2011 rohan purchased a bike for 54000 rupees and he sold it at a loss of 8% let the cost price be 100 if the cost price is 100 he sells it at a loss of 8% so 8% of 100 will be minus 8 and so it will be 92 rupees so 92 rupees is a selling price of a bike with this money he purchases another bike and then sell it at a profit of 10% so 10% of 92 is 9.2 and therefore <coughs> it is 101.2 so for 100 rupees So for hundred rupees he gets one hundred and one point two zero rupees. It means he gets one rupees and twenty per se more. For hundred rupees he gets one rupees and twenty per se as a profit. Then for fifty four thousand rupees. what will be his profit so we multiply this two and divide by the first one so it will be 54000 into 1.20 upon 100 so this zeros will get cancel and if you multiply this two you get 648 so his overall profit on this transaction will be rupees 648 friends here we suggest few videos click on the links provided to you profit and loss shortcuts part 1 profit and loss shortcuts part 2 sitting arrangement reasoning and profit and loss shortcuts part 3 visit us at www.excelinpoexams.in i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like the video just by clicking the thumbs up button then share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching this video friends you might have enjoyed this video then go to thumbs up button and click then go to share tab and share with your friends on facebook twitter google plus and many more and to get the Updates right in your mailbox. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.